So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 81 of our Portsmouth career mode and we are going to be kicking off this episode by simming the first game as it will be up against Norwich City. It should be a very easy game for us, shouldn't it? Yes, there we go. We end up winning the game by one goal, two nil. Lookman picking up the goal in the 32nd minute and the reason we actually sim that was because Norwich were currently sitting in 19th place in the league and it looked like they were pretty much going to be getting relegated. And also, our players, we needed to try and rest for this game against Chelsea because we will be taking on Chelsea and we want our first team lineup available. But we've got some bad news here as we're going to reject the Romania deal. But Javier Manquillo says he wants to play in the next game. But having a look at the news article, it said something about Lucore. Here it is. It says training ground chatter at Portsmouth suggests all is not well with Mamadou Ducore, who is thought to be homesick and agitated for a return to a more familiar surrounding. So maybe he wants to be on his way out. And the Premier League review, it did say something about Conte um, praising E.K. Munain. There we go. Antonio Conte praises free scoring Munain. So let's see how we can go on against Chelsea. Chelsea currently 13 points in front of us. So they're a long way in front of us in third place. It's pretty much a battle between us, Arsenal, Stoke and Liverpool and City to get that fourth place. It's going to be a battle right to the end and we've got a very tough task on our hands against... Chelsea here. So let's see how we can get on. We've got our first team um, lineup available and I'm sure we will put up a good fight. Let's see if we can knock Chelsea off their perch. Good ball through to Henrich. Henrich back to Reese Oxford. Reese Oxford through to Ike Munain. Munain does well to take on his man. Munain goes for strike from range and it's a comfortable save for Courtois at his near post. But we're going to take the short corner. We're going to try something different. Can we get a good ball in the box? It's a good ball to the far post to Mbaye. It comes back to Mbolo. Mbolo strikes it. And that that one goes miles wide. So Resox is on the ball. Resox are trying to squeeze the ball through to Niang, but he couldn't quite get it through. But to be honest, Chelsea might be so many points clear, but they're failing to actually put any pressure on us early on in this game. We have a good chance as we play the oh, we try and play the ball out wide, but Hugo manages to regain it as he plays the ball out wide to Brulin Bolo. And Bolo does well, takes on his man. He's going to try and cut back inside, which he does do. Plays the ball back to Hugo. Hugo with a double step over, then cuts back inside. Plays the ball to Javier Manquillo. Manquillo through to M by Niang. And Niang goes for goal. And he puts it wide of the post as well. Good ball through to Mbai Niang. Mbai Niang through to Hugo. Hugo tries to turn his man, but he gets out-muscled. Lovely chance for Chelsea. Can we get the ball clear? We can't, and they've scored. Diego Costa with the goal. And Chelsea's first time they've actually got into our final third. And they've scored the goal. It's not Diego Costa. I don't know who it is, but he scored the goal anyway. And it's actually Martinez. How has Martinez scored the goal? What's he doing that far up the pitch? We've got to get this one clear. We do put our foot through it, but they just get lucky. It comes off Charlie Massonda, reflects into the place of Martinez, and he has a finish into the back of the net. The first chance Chelsea have had, and they've found the bloody back of the net. Resox are through to Emre Moore. Lovely piece of play from Emre. He's trying to try and cut back inside. Plays the ball back to Niang. Niang goes for goal, and it just reflects straight into the path of Reese Oxford, but he couldn't get there before Javid Luiz clears the ball. And it looks like pretty much the Chelsea of the Premier League nowadays as Mbolo is going to try and get one in the box and he can't either so Mbolo is really actually failing to try and get a foot in the game well in the game in his career at Portsmouth he's really failed to impress we paid a lot of money for him and I thought he'd be doing a lot better than what he has been Hugo Azevedo using his dribbling skills there as he does very well gets past his man he plays the ball back inside to Emre and it gets deflected straight into the path of the Chelsea defender. So Chelsea, no wonder why they're at the top. They're getting a little bit of luck. But we play the ball through from Mbolo. Mbolo through to Mbai Niang. Mbai Niang goes for the strike from range. And once again, Courtois with a simple save at his near post. But we're going to try and whip that one in with pace. We do. Can we get a good head on it? We can't. Um, surely, can we pick up missing pieces? No, we can't. A good ball through to um. Oh, Hugo, Hugo, can he get there? He can't. William manages to catch him up. I thought it was our chance, but we win the ball. Oh, how is that a foul ref? Seriously. So Mbai Niang playing the ball through to Hugo. Azevedo does well. Hugo plays the ball back inside to Niang. Niang through to Munain. Munain goes for goal. What a strike from Munain. 
Oh, Conte praised him, and boy, does he do well to praise him, because Moon Knight says you had to praise me, because now you've done that, I'm going to punish you. What a goal that was. Hugo does very well, cuts back inside, plays ball to Niang. Niang through to Moon Knight, and that is a fantastic strike, coming off the top of the crossbar, or the underside of the crossbar, and the top of the post at the same time. That couldn't get any closer to the top corner. What a goal. We may have a chance though. We play the ball out wide to Mbolo. Mbolo's got the chance against Courtois. Please, Mbolo. Yes! He's done it. And Mbainiang, the provider. Mbai has picked up two assists in the game. And we've scored in the 78th minute and in the 88th minute. It's a lovely ball through to Mbolo. He had to keep his composure and put it past Thibaut Courtois. And that's what he does. A lovely shot with the outside of his boot. And we're 2-1 up. Out of nowhere. Yes! The referee's blown the final whistle and we picked up a valuable three points which could prove to be very crucial towards the end of the season. Um, Mbai Niang picking up two assists, Mbolo picking up the goal as did... Munayin, but Mbai Niang must pick up man of the match. He played fantastic, even though he didn't pick up a goal, but we truly deserved to win that. Chelsea had 100% shock accuracy, because they only had one shot and they scored from it. We had seven and scored two. Fantastic result for us. Very good late goals. However, it's now time for the next game of the episode, and it's going to be a massive one, as we are going to be travelling to Rome, as we're going to be taking on Roma. It's going to be a very, very tough game. We're having to make one change to our starting lineup because EK Munayan is actually in the low green, so he's not going to be fit enough to start this match, and um, stepping in his place will be Tommaso Missiroli. So let's see how we can get on. Play up, Pompey! So Henrich on the ball. Henrich through to Reece Oxford. Reece Oxford through to Javier Manquillo. We're going to let fly from range. Can Manquillo hit the target? No, he can't. He plays it. Miles over the bar. So we play the ball through to Tommaso Missy-Rolli. Missy-Rolli, we're waiting for the overlapping run. And uh, that didn't work very well. But we still got the chance. We've got the ball of Reece Oxford. Reece Oxford through to Mbai Niang. Mbai Niang round the corner to Mbolo. Mbolo does well. Cuts back inside. Mbolo, let's fly. It's a good block. And please get up. No, please, Mbolo. Mbolo, get up now. Please, come on. Yes, he's back up. Please don't tell me he's injured. So Rudiger's giving the ball away. He's giving it straight to Mbainiang. And Mbainiang goes for the shot. But it's a fantastic save from Ellison as he bails out Rudiger. Rudiger gives it straight to Mbai. But Mbai actually, from that angle, does well to force a save from the goalkeeper. As Hugo puts a good ball in the box. Coming with that one in the air. We can't because the goalkeeper comes out and makes a good punch. But we play the ball back to Clever Menezes. Menezes strikes the first time. And I think that might have been finding its way in as well. A oh, lovely piece of play from Hugo. Hugo's cut back inside. He goes all the way. He squeezed the ball through to Mbai Niang. Mbai Niang, he gets taken down. The referee points the penalty spot on Rudy Guys having an absolute nightmare. He gives the ball away to Niang early on and he's been sent off. Oh, we've got a chance to score an away goal. To be honest, we deserve it. Roma haven't done much. And in the Europa League quarterfinal, we've been given a chance just for the halftime break to convert from the penalty spot. Mbai Niang gets taken down and we are going to give it to Mbai as well. He scored the penalty before. Let's see if Niang can score it again. He's going to be up against the goalkeeper, Alisson. He's going to go to the left-hand side and he's missed it. The goalkeeper bloody saved it. Can we try and get a goal though as we play a ball through to Hugo? Hugo back inside to Tommaso Missy Rolly. Tommaso through to Mbai Niang. Mbai Niang to try and make amends and he can't. That could prove very costly. That could have been an away goal. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! We've done it. This time. M. Bainiang didn't score, but he's actually redeemed himself. You know why? Because he took a shot from range, it hit the post, and it ricocheted straight into the path of Emre Moore to have a simple tap in into the back of the net. M. Bainiang, you're off the hook. Hugo with the ball out wide to Reece Oxford. Reece Oxford cuts back. He plays the ball out wide to Emre Moore. Emre Moore strikes it first time. What a save. This goalkeeper's in inspired form. Emre Moore with the ball over the top to Hugo. Hugo, lovely first touch from Hugo. He tries to cut back inside, which he does do very well. As he plays the ball back to Tommaso Missiroli. He strikes from range. It's a clear handball, but it comes back to Tommaso. Tommaso through to Mbolo. Mbolo strikes it, and he gets too much power on it and blazes it over the bar. But some promising play. We're trying to pick up our second here. Surely Roman with 10 men aren't going to get themselves back in the game, are they? As El Shawari tries to get back inside. We try and get the ball clear. We can't do so. Axel Werner with a good save. Get the ball off. Five minutes remaining. Oh, dear me. And just to make matters worse, we've got an injury. Henrich is going to have to come off. So, Henrich will come off. We'll bring on 
Who's a, we'll bring on Stavance at the back. We'll bring on Jason Vargas for Hugo. And Emre Moore will bring on Amana. So, we're just going to make some substitutes and try and waste a little bit of time. There's five minutes remaining. Can we hold on? Surely, we blast the ball forward and Amana's onside. He's only just come on the pitch. Amana's got the chance to pretty much get us through to the semi-final. Amana against the goalkeeper and he's done it. Amana's been on the pitch for a matter of seconds. He has yet to touch the ball and he's gone ahead and done that. What about that, guys? We blast the ball forward. Amano is one on with the goalkeeper. We slowed down, make the goalkeeper come out a little bit, and then we blasted it into the far corner. We're 2 0 up away from home. Surely we're not going to let this slip now, are we? But we've got another good chance as we play the ball through to Jason Vargas. Can we make it three? Jason Vargas cuts back inside, plays the ball to Mbolo. Mbolo, oh, play the ball to Niang. And Niang through to Mbolo. Mbolo goes for goal. They can't get that one clear, but it's going to come to Tommaso Missy Rolli. Plays the ball out wide to Jason Vargas. He tries to turn his man, but it's a fantastic challenge. And we could have made it three, but it looks like the referee's going to blow the full-time whistle, or is he going to let us have one last chance to play the ball back inside to Tommaso Missiroli, through to Mbai Niang to make it three, yet, yeah. oh, he's missed it, Mbai, you've got it, the target from there, I thought it was three, but that is it for the game, we end up winning the game by two goals to nil, away from our home in Italy, and Alberto Hermano picking up a 8.3 rating, but my man how much does go to Hugo Azevedo, I do think he played very well on the left flank, but guys, we completely dominated, we had 20 shots, 20 shots compared to their one, we deserve to win that by a lot more, but I think we probably go ahead and sim the game at home, because... I don't think we're going to lose 2 or 3-0. So guys, what we decided to do instead is go ahead and sim at the game against West Brom. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to win it, but I'm hoping we can at least draw it or... I don't know. We're playing 18th place. We want to try and win the game, obviously, and we end up losing it. Um, we lost the game 2-1. Mario scored the goal for us, but Durisic and Rondon picks up the goal for them. We should have probably played it, thinking about it properly, but... I don't know, why didn't we play it? Um, we had fit enough players, we just didn't play it. Um, yeah, a bit puzzling. But anyway, let's jump into the action now as we will be taking on Roma for the third and final game of this episode as we are going to do simming drills and no one goes up a rating. Martin still not going up to 65. I'm not sure we should keep this guy on. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but... The next game will be at home at Fratton Park. We will be taking on Roma. And guys, we won't be swimming that one. So the only change we're going to be making for the game against Roma is that Munain will be coming back into the centre attacking midfield role to replace Missy Rolly. Missy Rolly has been playing fantastic, but uh, Munain did score that fantastic goal for us against Chelsea, which did in fact hand us the victory. So let's see how we can get on. All we need to do is avoid defeat, or if we lose, we can still lose 1-0. So it should, in theory, be a routine win. Considering how easy it was when we beat them at their place, it should be... Very easy for us, but we're not going to be counting our chickens because we know what can happen. So we play the ball to Munain. Munain through to Mbai Niang. Mbai Niang back through to Munain. Oh, it was close to getting through to him. But Rome, or Roma, I should say, to be honest, they're 2-0 down on aggregate and they're not really offering anything. We're 20 minutes into the game. They're not pushing bodies forward. They're playing the ball around the back, as you can see here. They're not even trying to push bodies forward. I don't even know what they're playing at. So Mbani Yang's on the attack though as we play the ball through to Emre Moore. Emre Moore trying to play it through to uh, Munain, but Munain couldn't get there. I thought that was going to be the perfect counter. Good ball to Reese Oxford. Reese Oxford through to uh, Munain. Munain does well with a double step over. Plays the ball through to Hugo and it doesn't get through to him. But as I said, we're 30 minutes in now. So another 10 minutes has gone by and... Every time they play the ball forward, they end up losing it, or they play it forward to play it back again. I don't understand it. The first chance of the game falls to Roma, or the first chance Roma had actually, and actual Werner does very well to keep that one out, because otherwise the second half would have been very nervy if they scored there. Thank God for that. Axel Werner, what a save, keeping us two goals up. Good ball through to Emre Moore, Emre Moore through to Henrich, Henrich playing the ball out wide to Mbolo, Mbolo cuts back inside, plays the ball back inside to Niang and it just doesn't find through but to be honest we don't really need to score we just want to score to try and make the game a little bit more entertaining but if anyone looks the more likely to score I think it's definitely going to be us as we try and play the ball inside but as you see there they've just got so many bodies behind the ball if anything it looks like Roma are 2-0 up and they need 
to basically keep a clean sheet and not concede. Not that Roma need to score two goals because they're not pushing bodies forward at all. If anyone's pushing bodies forward, it's us. Roma just not doing anything. I don't know what they're actually trying to do. And they play the ball through to Javier Manquillo. Manquillo does well, cuts back inside, plays the ball through to Mbolo. Mbolo goes for the strike. It's a good block, but it's going to come out wide to Hugo, and he gets too much power on it as he blazes it over the bar. Look at this. Mbolo's charging through. I don't think Herrera's going to catch him, which is not. Mbolo puts a good ball in the box. Come and win that one in the air. He can't because the goalkeeper comes out and makes a good punch. But as always, look, if anything, we are going to score a goal. Roma's not going to score. We've got a chance though, we play the ball through to Emre Moore. We've gone the wrong way, but Emre Moore's going to try and play the ball across. But he does well to play it to Reese Oxford. Reese Oxford through to Mbai Niang. Niang turns his man, is that a foul? Ref? No. Ball around the corner to Mbolo. Mbolo's going to try and cut back inside, which he does do. Mbolo goes for goal. And once again, the goalkeeper, very good save. Good chance for Mbolo. Mbolo's been played through. Mbolo to wrap up the tie. He goes for the outside of his boot and Emre Moore. That was a simple finish into the back of the net, wasn't it not? Doesn't matter because the referee blows a full-time whistle. We're through to the semi-final, but still, Emre, come on, man. You've got to pick up a goal there. And uh, that is it for the game. We end up drawing the game at Fratton Park 0-0, but Roma had one shot on target, and that was it. We had nine shots compared to their one. That's how poor Roma were. I don't even know why they're in the competition. It was a, such an easy win for us. I thought it was going to be extremely difficult and we didn't really get out of third gear. However guys, that is in fact it for this episode of Career Mode. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit the like button down below as it is going to be very much appreciated. And don't forget, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos and career modes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Yeah.